Hello, my name is Nick Reed, and we're here for another episode of MyValleyOnline.com News. And I'm here surrounded by these wonderful people here at the Valley Queens, and they're here to talk about some of the upcoming events and some of their programs they work pretty much all year long on. You see them on all your events, you see them on all the social gatherings, but what are they doing? We're here to find out. So go ahead and introduce you to the, the ringleader of the organization, Miguel. Miguel, how are you doing today? I'm well, thank you. And can you give us some background on the Valley Queens and how it was started and what you guys want to focus on this year? Well, most definitely. We um, actually are returning the program after a four-year absence. Um, our last Miss Hemet, um, Kiara Hunt, and Miss Anasino, Cynthia Chavez, were um, reunited with the pageant in 2012. Um, and here we are a year later, heading into 2013. And um, our goal is really to get our young ladies involved in their community. Um, concluding their reign as title holders, we anticipate and look forward to rewarding them with scholarships. So. Fantastic. And now, let's introduce some of the queens we have with us today. And we start here with Caitlin. Say a few words, please. Hi, my name is Caitlin Lacey, and I am representing San Jacinto as Miss San Jacinto 2012. Yes, she is. <laughs> Doing a great job. How about you? What's your name? Uh, my name is Berkeley Baker. I am Miss Hemet 2012. Representing H-Town. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm Amanda Stewart, and I'm representing Miss Teen Hemet. So basically representing Junior H-Town. I love it. <laughs> so let me ask you girls this. I mean, how is it representing the community in the way you do, um, you know, all year long? I mean, it's I, you guys are out more than I am, and I'm, kind of, I'm a man about town, obviously. If we're on the show. How is it? I mean, what's life like for you guys? Busy. Busy. <laughs> you heard it here. <laughs> We have about four events a month and we try to get out in, into the community as much as we can and try to promote as many organizations and do as much community service as we possibly can. Community service is a good thing, I hear. If I'd ever do some, I don't know. Um, okay, well, you know, I understand it that this coming year is going to be your 62nd year of having the, uh, the, the Hemet pageant. Most definitely. That seems like quite a feat. I, I don't know how the demographics works in the surrounding communities, but I don't know if you, they have an illustrious history that we have here. So take that in. Most Just breathe it right in. Most definitely. Um, let's say, um, let's, let's give you a little shout out to some of the people that support you guys in some of your events. So I want to make sure that we cover, you know, some of your sponsors. Now we definitely want to give a good shout out to, um, you know, Saboba Tribe of the Band of the Swinu Indians, as well as the Saboba Casino. And then I understand that uh, the Salon uh, Papaya mm -hmm. gives you guys a lot of support. As well as the one company that everybody knows, aside from Saboba, is Kona Ice. Most yeah, definitely. Yeah. Now, you guys like those snow cones, don't you? Yes, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Understood. So what, what kind of uh, events could we look forward to? What do you guys have coming up in the near future here? Well, as of right now, we're preparing for our 2013 um, year alongside with the um, events that we're continuing to, to visit. Um, Ramona Humane Society, the Luau is taking place this Saturday, so we're excited to support um, our local animal shelter and, and the staff there that do amazing things. Um, and then from there, we're heading into 4th of July, so we look forward to the 4th of July parade. Um, we've actually been invited to represent him in San Jacinto at the Moreno Valley Parade. Um, Whoa! So, yeah. <laughs> she's, she's spasming over here because she's so excited. It's not just our parade, but she's actually going outside the community for volunteerism. That's passion right there. Um, so yeah, 4th of July Parade in Moreno Valley, um, our girls will represent him in San Jacinto and um, we're really excited about that just to be able to get out. And um, Again, we're heading into our recruitment phase where we are asking young ladies between the ages of 13 to 23 to step up to the plate and, and compete for a title. You know, only four individuals can be the, the um, title holders, but um, the opportunity and the experience um, is just invaluable. You know? Absolutely. Now, I understand the next, the next competition is going to be on November 18th. Correct. And so uh, the location is to be determined. But um, how does somebody get involved? If people want to watch this, they want to, you know, compete for a chance to be one of those four girls, how do they get a hold of you? Well, first of all, our website is a huge resource, um, www.valleyqueens.org. Um, we have our pre-registration, so anybody interested can fill that out and um, we will contact you. Um, we began our monthly delegate meetings. Um, we don't call them contestants, they're delegates, they represent their, their community. Um, so delegates, um, you know, once again meet every month just to prepare um, our competition categories include interview, personal interview, so each of our young ladies receive an interview with the judge. 
Um, we don't do bathing suits um, just because. That's um, why I didn't enter this year. <laughs> I was going to put my name in, but Thank they took out that category. <laughs> Um, so bathing suit is not one of our categories. We do either um, themed attire or um, sports attire, sports okay. wear. Um, and so last year's um, themed attire was um, Spirit of the Valley. So each title holder, I'm sorry, delegate had to create a, a costume that best reflected the him at San Jacinto Valley. So it was really inspirational. Um, so basically you're a sign spinner. That's the costume, right? Pretty much. It allowed us to, to really look at the history of our valley, which was phenomenal. Caitlin dressed up as a agriculture um, person. person. <laughs> um, so old McDonald, gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> she reflected, um, you know, the rich agriculture our San Jacinto Valley has. Um, Berkeley represented Helen Hunt Jackson and oh, wow. um, her history, so her outfit was very um, classic, so to say. <laughs> and um, Amanda Stewart was one of our golfers representing the wide variety of golf um, I had courses. an exploding golf ball. Yeah. And that's why she won, in my heart. And I had a baby chick, so... It's still not... Ex if it exploded, then you're, then you're right there. All right, cool. Well, you know, again, you know, people can go and visit, uh, I think it's uh, valleyqueens.org. Right. Correct. And that's where they find out information. They that's find out what's going on. They have a Facebook page. So you want to make sure you, you check that out as well and friend them, because they're friendly people. Stuff. Uh, and uh, I just want to get some... Uh, you know, can you introduce, you know, some of the things that you've done this year? Um, and, and some of the memorable experiences you've had thus far? Um, well, in the beginning, I was 13 when I tried out, and I was in seventh grade, and I had been bullied, and I was basically isolated for a whole entire People year. People who didn't like exploding golf balls. Exactly. <laughs> okay, gotcha. <laughs> I was isolated for a whole entire year, and then I saw like an ad in a paper, and ever since I was younger, I wanted to do this. So I tried out, and I was the youngest girl in the pageant, and I actually won, and then um, in the beginning, I said I wouldn't miss an event, and I went strong for about six months. And then I did Miss Teenage California with Caitlin, and um, so I missed a couple. But I love helping our community and all of our events. I mean, I've met so many wonderful people, and I wouldn't change it for the world. Yeah, you think of this as like a, a glorifying experience, but really, you're kind of you're kind of like the stewards of the valley, yeah. and that, that's a that's a responsibility to actually show up and promote our community. How about you? What are your experiences that you could share? It's it's been a lot more work, honestly. Than yeah. I thought it was going to be, but it's been really, really. Uh, it's amazing. It is so amazing. A, a lot of the events. My favorite, I think, was the buddy walk. The buddy walk. Um, it was for Down syndrome, and just seeing the way that we can affect other people, and not just like walking around, you know. Yeah, it, it, yeah. Having a purpose to walk everybody. versus just running to the car. Yes. Is a very <laughs> different show. Gotcha. How about you? We've done so much community service. I think getting out there and we did a service project for United Way. We were picking up trash on the side of Florida and we- It needed it. <laughs> <laughs> we um, dug up weeds on in the back of the library and we've just, we've done a lot of service and we've given back and that's definitely been my favorite part. Well, this, this is an amazing experience for me to meet you guys in person and kind of talk to you guys and kind of figure out how you want to get involved in your community. I'm just hoping that you guys will be willing to stay on so that you can get involved in my backyard. But I want to thank you, Miguel, for coming thank in today you. and bringing these lovely ladies. Really and hopefully you guys can get involved and you know support them financially, support them by showing up to the events, and make sure that anybody that wants to be a part of the pageant, get a hold of Miguel, go on the website, and let them know. That way you can be a part of these kind of services. I want to thank everybody for coming on today, and I want to join, have everybody online join us for the next episode of My Valley Online News.